Uh, brain fart. Uh, this is Rowan, and I'm doing one of my DIY projects that's been on the back burner for a couple weeks now because of the rain. But, and while it is scheduled to rain tomorrow, it is scheduled to be relatively dry, all things considered. Uh, until at least 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I am going to, uh, I'm not wearing my watch. Oh, that's right, it's in the cup in the bathroom. So, I've already cut off the excess of the, um, of that poster board that I got. This is going to be for my, uh, my doormat that I've wanted a doormat for a while, but the problem with that is, is that I don't often see doormats that I like, so I figured... Next best thing is to just make it yourself. So, I finally found today. I've been, uh, this is another reason I've been putting it off, is because I figured for what I want to spell out on the stencil. Now, yes, I did get stenciled letters. I'm going to explain this in a minute. So, uh, what I want to spell out with the stencil, it would probably be best off with four inch tall letters. Now, I've been able to find, now, here's the funny thing, is like, Joanne has five inch letters, six inch letters, seven, eight, and nine inch letters. Joanne also has three and a half inch letters and smaller. No, three inch letters and smaller. I was thinking three and a half might be the smallest I'd want, four and a half the largest I'd want, uh, four inches, probably the ones that I want. In fact, like, I even took their five inch letters uh, at Joanne over to um, the doormats that they have there, because I got one there, so it's like an identical thing that I got there, and I figured, okay, I'll take over the five inch, and I'll take over the three inch, and that, yeah, I figured four is probably my best bet, and Joanne does not have four inch letters, at least not at the one on, uh, on Carpenter in, uh, uh, I think their address is technically Ipsy, but it's, uh, it's in the Pittsfield Township area, like, just over the, um, 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 the, uh, the city limit for Ann Arbor, and I think, I think they're technically put in Ipsy because of voting districts. Please don't ask me how that works. Uh, so, um, so yeah, I picked up four-inch letters at Michael's. And I think Craft Smart is a Michael's house brand. So uh, now I'm going to do the next step. Well, okay, I did the first step, which was finally get my goddamn letters. Uh, if I could not find them, I was going to draw it out myself uh, in probably a similar enough font, just because it's easier to cut with than I put the X-Acto blade away. But that's in the um, little storage thing. This is the phone is sitting up on top of. So I cut off the excess. Uh, I didn't do the greatest job of cutting off the excess, but I did a good enough job, you know, for the purposes. And that's the great thing about DIYing stuff is sometimes it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be good enough. This is my doormat. As we see, it's already started to accumulate cat hair because I, well, I could have put it out in front of my door and let, like, the neighbor's dog, there's a dog across the hall from me, um, and let the neighbor's dog, like, put his filth all over it. And I'm not necessarily saying that their dog is going to do that, but I'm just saying, you know, dogs gonna be dogs. I mean, it doesn't mean they absolutely will do this, do their dog business uh, everywhere at every time. But uh, you're probably gonna have a high, yeah, you, know, you know, dogs, dogs are dogs. So, okay, so. I am going to have this spell out spooky house, and we, uh, so this, it looks like we've got, uh, letters, um, one each of A through Z with a, uh, one each of the zero through nine numerals, 
uh, exclamation point, question mark, uh, 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 um, what is that thing, quotation marks, semicolon, uh, ampersand, uh, the at symbol, and a dollar sign with one extra each of A, E, I, O, U, R, and S. So, now if I was going to be doing these uh, these are just the kind that you punch them, that you punch the letters out. If I was going to be, I was going to be using these stencils, um, as I'm sure a lot of people typically would. I would, I don't know. I'd have to be a lot more careful because of. Let's go with the one that's already pre-punched for us. So you see, they have a very small border around them. So that is not ideal for taking this. Ah, uh, outdoor para exteriors upholstery spray paint. Uh, so this is not. <laughs> so this is for outdoor use. See, we have it on the. Uh, da, 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 da. We have it on the lawn furniture. Is this going to be better? Maybe. Hopefully. Okay. So we have this here done up like this. I'm. I really. I probably could have read the ingredients. Actually, they don't have ingredients on here. We have uh, instructions. I really hope this is not liquid latex. Well, if it is liquid latex, it's going to be on. Um, it's going to be on something. I'm going to be wiping my shoes on. So if there is liquid latex in this, which is how they, you know, if that's how they waterproof it, then okay, could be worse. Um, it's just like if it is, if it does have liquid latex in it, I definitely don't want to use it for that. But if it does. Uh, at least, you know, I don't know where I was going with that thought, so... Oh, well, that, that's how we get two eyes. Makes sense. And I probably should have done this before I started filming. It occurs to me, because of how I'm doing this, <laughs> uh, what you may have very well figured out already, I really did not need to punch out both of these. Oh well. It'll help me, um, uh, I'll just tell myself it helps me figure, you know, figure out the spacing and everything. Okay, so, I have drawn out all the letters, like, I implied all over the place, and you're smart, so you figured out what I did without needing to see it. I'm sorry, it was just, like, a bit of a task to hold down the letters, because... I don't have scotch tape. I could have, you know, detached with the X-Acto at the very least. I don't have scotch tape, or at least I don't know what bag I put it in while I was putting things away for the exterminator. Hi, and we have a cat on here now. This is Murnau, everybody's favorite. Murnau. Murnau, yes, we all see your tail, your fluffy, fluffy tail. Oh, yes, aren't you cute? Yes, Murnau is being helpful. Not. Right? Right. Look, I got him one of those, and I can guarantee you, I, I, like, actually, oh, hold on, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. So, taking this. Oh. Up, oh, he's getting ready. He's getting ready. Hi. Let's see. Now, he's played in this since I got it. So, because I had, um, well, first off, I had $5 in Petco rewards, which were going to, I don't know, expire by like the 15th if I didn't use them. And because uh, a couple of my wonderful subscribers, uh, Cherryberry48 and I believe Curious Cat 1920 they got so much cat food, so I decided to take at least a portion of what would have been budgeted for the cats, and I got Murnau a play tunnel, because, ah, he likes to, he likes to sit in the carriers when they're open, um, and I leave them open about half the time just so that it doesn't stress them out when I need to, um, take them somewhere. 
and uh, so he would let he would sit in one of the carriers that was open and facing an open section of floor and he would wait and lurk and wait for one of the other two to come by and leap out at them so I figured he'd really like this and of course like a cat um, like the first five ten minutes I had it out he was just like eh, whatever and then after about ten minutes or so he decided it was the most fun thing in the world and of course ah, ah, not on the chair he's clawing on the chair my beautiful Art Nouveau chair. I mean, granted, it would just be a matter of reupholstering it, but I don't want to have to do that. Um, and of course, now that I've unfurled it for the uh, for some potentially filming purposes, he's up on the Art Nouveau chair. So, uh, but I'm leaving it out, just you know, to give him something to do besides be up in my face. Again, I'm going to assume that you are smart enough to figure this all out on your own, how I do this, but, uh, so, of course, I'm taking the X-Acto blade, also called a craft knife, obviously quite an old one, and I stab at Kitty! No, I don't. I don't. And you see, I didn't even make that joke <laughs> for even a full second <laughs> because I do not want Kitty harmed. No, I love Kitty. But he is he is in a very, very naughty space right now, aren't you? Honey, honey. Kitty. Kitty. Oh my gosh. Look, you. Arg. Go. Go. Go into the hole. The hole is your home now. There you go. You live there now. That is your room. Or just come out the other end and come back here and mess with my stuff. Oh my gosh. Just just get in there. Just get in there. There we go. Ha ha! He does whatever I say when he feels like it. Oh my gosh. I knew you were doing this. I knew it. I knew it. And yet I, I sat and watched you do it anyway. <sighs> Kitty, thank you. Yes, we haven't seen enough tail in this video, have we? No. So, I take the X-Acto blade, and of course I stab at the, uh, oh my gosh, not at Kitty Tail. Move. Your, ah, no. And I stab at where I marked the stencil, and, oh my gosh, cat. Ah, look you, look. I know, yes, you're very cute, and very fluffy, and I love you very much, but, but, no, not cat butt, but, as in, uh, the conjunction, conjunction, what is your function? How do you function? How do you do it? How do you function? Tell me, 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 why, why? Oh my gosh. If anybody can explain how this cat has been so cute. Excuse me. I have ginger ale. Oh my gosh. Look, you. Ugh. Look. Look. Arg. Go into your tunnel. Get, get in there. Get, get, get. There. Now we block it off <laughs> with tea towels. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> this is now like the third or fourth take I'm doing for this um, minute or so of this part. And I really hope it takes this time because the last couple times it just says, Oh, was unable to save your video. And that is, that is irritating. So, uh, as you can see, I'm... Uh, I'm not using my cutting mat, which is right there, um, because, uh, oh my gosh, uh, because the, uh, the doormat itself is made out of this fibrous stuff, I don't know, I think it's made of, uh, coconut husks, and I'm working across rather than down, because, uh, it's, um, with, with stencils I've cut in the past, um, it seems to, uh, it, it just seems to work out better. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Please. 
please move. Please, please, please. No, we do not need your butt. Uh, so the, the way I cut stencils in the past, it just seems to be a lot easier on, um, on, uh, on everything to work across rather than down for me. I don't know how well you do it. Uh, you can try working down, uh, cutting your own stencils, but, uh, as I said, it's not really the greatest option for me. Maybe you do find down. I do better across. I, either one should be fine, um, depending on how you cut it and, like, the various pressures placed on parts of the stencil and all of that. So, um, I did notice, even though I've got this positioned about where I want it, I did not center this very well, so I'm going to have to find um, my scotch tape, or at least um, use a piece of some kind of other tape and go over this side when I take it out onto the balcony to spray. So, um, speaking of spraying, it says here, um, I don't know, somewhere in here, to allow 72 hours for it to dry. So I'm going to have to spray it on the balcony, um, wait, I don't know, a couple hours. I definitely have to bring it in before I go to bed because to it's supposed to be raining sometime after 8 a.m. tomorrow. So obviously I have to put this away somewhere that the cats can't walk all over it, um, depending on how tacky the paint feels, of course. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've taped this part to the main stencil, and you know, I could probably stand to wrap some tape to put this on here, because I don't really need that to come out with me to spray. Now we spray. Okay, I guess it didn't take the first time. So, it said to, uh, to shake for about a minute, which I did, and I just laid down the first coat, and I think I'm going to do three. So I'm going to uh, take the rest of my t-shirts off the line and the rack, and go in, fold some t-shirts, and then come back out, second coat, and then do something else for five minutes or so, third coat, and... I'll get back at you when I bring it inside. Okay, so I just brought it in, and it actually looks really good after only uh, two coats of the spray. So, because it's due to rain um, in the morning, I'm going to take this outside my unit and just put it to the side of the door. And sometime tomorrow, I'm going to start working on the spider webbing up here. And maybe a little bit down here in this corner. And maybe go ahead and make something for this corner. Who knows? All right. Okay, this is seriously the only way I could finish this video. It was the, uh, the voiceover on the photograph. So... Because this is a truly cursed project. This is truly cursed. I tried it so many times to do takes of this, but it never accepted. There was always an error. Like, there was literally always one error or another while I was trying to film this, and before I knew it, I had the whole thing cut out and glued on, and it still never took a film. So the, uh, the felt, that's just your basic craft felt from Joanne. I think it was like on sale, like four for a dollar, so 25 cents a sheet. As for what I used to secure the felt to the mat, I just used a basic E6000, uh, but it was Fabric Fuse, that formula that they made. So hopefully this ends this absolutely cursed project. Well, cursed as far as filming goes. It actually went pretty well, I think, on the thing. As far as where the crochet went and why that's not there, uh, that's not there. I decided to just, like, trash that idea for a second because my dexterity has not been great lately. 
And um, so, yeah, hopefully at least some of you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this. And um, yeah, all right. Well, bats and kisses, loves, and take care of yourselves. And